A hardtail can be nearly as capable as a full suspension bike in the right hands, but if you haven't got the skills to match that, they can be a pretty rough ride. Today's video, we're taking a look at getting the most out of your e-hardtail on the trails. When it comes to pumping the ground, there simply is no better bike than the hardtail. The thing is, with a full suspension bike, a lot of that energy is lost in the rear suspension system. With the hardtail, if you've got a good pump technique, you're simply going to be flying down the trails. In front of me, I've got a set of three roller doubles, so pumping is a really good skill to have over these. The way that we're going to do it is we approach the up face of the roller, we're going to get our weight back, making the front end of the bike nice and light. Basically, you've got a midpoint of the roller, which is where you want to be going over with as least weight on the bike as possible. And then when you get to the downside, the back side of the roller, this is where you really need to make yourself heavy and push into the ground, driving that bike forward down the downslope and then look to repeat that throughout the section of up and down, making that weight count on the down slopes and going light up the up faces. You may have noticed that a lot of dirt jump bikes are actually hardtails. The reason for that is if you're riding a full suspension bike when jumping, a lot of that energy can be lost from the takeoff simply in that rear suspension system. With a hardtail, it gives a really direct feel. It also gives a lot of energy to the bike, firing up into the air with ease. Let's break down jumping this tabletop into four different steps. First, the approach. This is where you need to come in with good speed, pedals level, looking and focusing on the takeoff. As you approach the takeoff, you need to squash down, get your weight loaded into the bike, squashing from your head right the way down through your body to your toes, loading that bike up like a big spring. And this is a front wheel approach at the top of the takeoff. This is where you need to release all that energy and let that bike pop up into the air. You also need to be looking ahead. Don't look down because if you look down, you'll be going down. So look ahead and look forward. Imagine the trajectory of the bike you like out of the takeoff and float it in the midpoint. Get your weight towards the center of the bike. This will level the bike out with a slight weight shift forward. That should see your nose dive into the landing nice and smooth. The hardtail is a great bike to learn in how to manual. Thing is, on a full suspension bike, you can lose a lot of that feedback from the rear suspension. Also, the manual isn't a valuable skill to have out on the trail, meaning you can hop rocks, roots, and open up a load more lines. If you try and manual a full suspension bike, you're constantly battling the rear suspension to stay in the right position. The hardtail has a very direct feel and any body movement is instantly transferred to the bike. To get your bike in the manual position, all you do is get your weight forward, preload the fork, give the fork a slight squish while swiftly transferring your weight towards the rear axle of the bike. Keep your weight over the back of the bike whilst driving the bike forward with your feet whilst pulling back with the arms, modulating the rear brake to make sure that the bike stays in that manual position. The best way to tackle really gnarly and technical terrain on your hardtail is simply by using your body as suspension. You've got a really sophisticated unit, it's got a lot of travel in your legs and your arms and your elbows and your wrists. You really need to start activating that stuff when the trail gets nasty. Simply get your weight back, get behind the saddle and use your arms and your legs to absorb that shock. If you're riding on top of the bike, every inch of that trail is going to be shooting back through the handlebars and firing you out of control. You may think that the hardtail is in fact the wrong tool for the job to be hit and dropped such as this. Thing is, if you're precise and use your body as suspension, you can get away with some big, big drops on a hardtail. On a full suspension bike, the bike would probably be bottomed out on such a big hit anyway, so why not use a hardtail? The key to hitting a drop on your hardtail is all about coming in with good forward speed. You want your pedals level and your weight in the middle of the bike. You want to focus on the edge of the drop. As you come in, just get the weight forward, squash the fork a little bit and perform a mini manual as you leave the edge of the drop. Keeping your weight central on the bike, transferring it towards the rear to keep the front wheel up as you go off the edge and then literally tip forward, a little push on the handlebars should nose it in to the landing if it's a downslope. If it's a flat, you need to pull the handlebars up and try and land back wheel first. There you go, I really hope you've enjoyed today's videos on essential hardtail skills. If you want to stay with us, we've got a, a video we did recently where I rode a hardtail and went as big as I could, so check that one out up here. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up, drop some comments in the box below, and click the link in the middle of the screen to subscribe to EMBN.